Hi guys! Today we're going to be creating a peacock mask um, using the tag jewel cake. I'm just sponging on the yellow and blue only on over my eyelids and then I'm just going to go a little above the eyelid as well. I love doing this mask at events just because there's not really any line work involved. You're, you're mostly just using um, thicker brushes and sponging and it just comes out really nice and um, adult women love it and teens as well. Okay, here I'm just flipping my sponge around um, so that the yellow on the bottom is towards the outer corner of the eye and then I'm going to flip it back again and have that yellow pointing into the inner corner of the eye as well. And this just makes it kind of a fun, sort of a watercolor effect um, and put some pretty highlights in, in the right places. Now I'm using this uh, global one stroke, it's called Leanne's Rainbow, and I'm just taking a finger dauber and only picking up the yellow and blue, and then I'm just going to press it into the center of my forehead and kind of twist it around a little bit, and I'm going to try to achieve sort of like a half oval shape, and then I'm going to take the Paradise Prisma Cake in Breeze, and I'm just picking up the center color so you'll get a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue, and a little bit of green. And you want to keep the lightest color um, towards your hairline. And I'm just going to create some really um, like delicate feather um, shapes just by tapping the bristles on my forehead. Then you want to take your brush and just kind of angle it um, over the eyebrows to create more feathers. And then you're going to want to do your feathers sort of rounded on the outside of the eyelid. And I went ahead and went over a couple of these a few times just to get them brighter. The first time I did it I wasn't happy with how dull they looked. so. I know it's best to get them really bright and gorgeous the first time, but sometimes that just doesn't happen. And This is a gem cluster I made using puffy paint and acrylic gemstones. You can find a great tutorial by Mandy Moody on the Face Paint Forum Shop's YouTube channel. I'm just taking some skin safe adhesive and pressing this into the center of my forehead. And then I took a little bit of gold glitter gel and just put some dots on the edges of the feathers. And then I'm taking a little bit of that darkest purple paint from the Paradise Prisma cake and doing a winged eyeliner. Now I'm taking the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette and running a little bit of the turquoise through the crease of my eyelid using a eyeshadow crease brush. And then I'll take a small smudging brush and the darkest purple color and putting it on my lower lid. I'm going to take what's left of that purple eyeshadow that's still on my smudging brush and just run that through my eyebrows so that they're not disappearing into the design. Now I'm using a small filbert brush to put on global magenta on my lips. Then I'll take a little bit of some pink iridescent glitter and just press it into the center of my bottom lip to finish off the design. That's it, that's the design. It's really easy and fast. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to go to the Face Paint Forum Shop for all the supplies to create this design. Thanks. Bye.